Welcome back. This is day three, but I'm posting it on day four because I am a day behind. I knew this was going to happen, but I'm going to post day four also. And day four is going to be a review. Welcome back. If this is your first time here. Thank you. I appreciate it. If you missed the intro, check a couple videos back. But let me give you a quick rundown. My name is Tyler. This is my own bar. There is no fee to get into my bar. Just share, hit the doorbell on the thing, then subscribe and do whatever you need to do to make my channel get more viewers and blow up. That's the only price to get into my bar. I run at Mixed Up With TGM on all social media channels. Follow me. And on those channels, I do reviews. I do cocktails. I do reviews. I mix cocktails. I talk about the industry. I help. That's what I want to do. I want to help you become a better storyteller, a better brand marketer, whether you're working for a third party as an affiliate or whether you're doing it for somebody else. I want you to be the best you can be. So these first couple days have been about storytelling and this is going to be no different. This is about building the story behind the brand. If this is not your first time here, welcome back. I appreciate the love. I appreciate the continued support. Let's get into today's videos about the origins and how to create the origin of the brand that you're working with or for yourself. In today's episode, like I said, we're going to be diving deep into the art of storytelling and branding, focusing on the alcohol industry. As we've already talked about, every brand has a unique journey, and today we are going to undercover how sharing that journey can transform your marketing. The origins and the inspiration. What inspired the creation of that brand? Was it a personal passion? A gap in the market? Or maybe it was perhaps a family tradition? You gotta uncover that origin. Can they describe the moment or the series of events that led to the founding of that brand? Look, every story, every story begins at the inception of a brand. Was it an epiphany, a desire to fulfill an unmet need, or perhaps it was a legacy that they wanted to continue? This isn't just history, it's the bedrock of a captivating narrative that resonates with the audience. Number two, brand identity. What are the core values of that brand? What do they stand for? How do they want their brand to be perceived by their customers? What personality or characteristics do they want associated with it? Consider this. What makes their brand stand out is the exotic ingredients, the art. Is it the art of distillation process? Is it the family recipe that's been cherished for generations? These distinctions are the stars in the skies for the brand's universe. Number three, the unique selling points. What makes their brand different from the competitors? Is it their ingredients? Is it their production process? Or perhaps it's the unique story behind the products. Are there any special techniques or traditions that 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 they use to set their they, that they use to set their products apart? The authenticity is the soul of the story. Embrace the struggles and the victories. This openness doesn't just add depth to, to the narrative. It forges a genuine, genuine connection with the audience that you're trying to reach. Pull them in. What are the challenges and the triumphs? Can they share a significant challenge and how they overcame it? Is there a particular achievement or milestone that they're especially proud of? No. Number five, visually and emotionally connecting. What kind of imagery do they associate with their brand? Are there specific colors, patterns, symbols? Like what represents their brand? What emotions do their brand story evoke in their audience? Is it inspiration? Is it nostalgia? Is it joy? Six, customer engagement. Do they have any memorable customer, customer testimonials or stories that highlight the impact of their brand? How 
Do they engage with their community or their customers? Do they do it through events, social media, other channels? Like how? Number seven, what's the future vision? Where do they see their brand in the next five to 10 years? Are there new products or expansions or initiatives that they're aiming for? Like how do they plan to evolve their brand story as the business grows? See, answering these questions will give your brand and you a solid foundation to start creating a storyboard, one that truly captures the essence of the brand. It'll help you plot out the key moments, the messages, the visuals, and then all of that can be translated into a compelling narrative for the audience that they're trying to reach. So I leave you with this. Embark on your storytelling journey today. It's more than marketing. It's about weaving the brand and your brand into the fabric of experiences and memories and lives. I hope you start building that storyboard today, especially if you're going to start working with brands. Thanks for watching. I appreciate you tuning in. As I said, this is day three posted on day four. I'm posting day four soon also. And day four is going to be a review. Thanks for watching. Appreciate your time. Appreciate your support. See you next time.